Now, my name is Mr. Courtney, and I'm going to start off. Now, since you guys weren't here last time, I'm going to do a quick review of what we did last time so you have an idea of what... Courtney Lotta, please call me now, office. Has anybody told you what we're going to be doing yet? What this, this whole class is about? Yeah. Yeah. Are you were going to say... <laughs> Another poem. Yeah, the screen is okay. The, well, the whole thing, you know, what Young Skeptics is about is what we call critical thinking. That is the ability to make decisions based upon things like evidence. To be able to look for yourself, to find clues or evidence, and to be able to come uh, to decisions. Okay? Seems pretty straightforward, right? All right, so one of the first things that we learned about last time, last month, was this thing, uh, the difference between a fact an opinion. Okay. All right. This, just to back up a second, what we're going to do is we did our little fun game. We're going to review on this thing about facts and opinions. Then uh, Janet here is going to talk about evidence. And then we're going to have a snack. And then we have a special guest speaker <coughs> over here who's going to talk to you guys about how he uses evidence. Okay. And that'll be most of the program. Okay. So go ahead then. The next one. Okay. Now. Do you already played the game? Yes, we played the game. And we've met you. We know who you are. We know how old you are. We have funny pictures of you. Okay, they're not with you. Okay. All right, can anybody tell me what a fact is? What's a fact? Something that's true. Something that's true. There you go. Excellent. Simple. All right. Anything else about a fact? It's proven. It's proven. There you go. Very good. I forget your name. Your name is? Brett. Brett and? Evelyn. Evelyn. Okay. Yeah. I'll try to remember as I go. Okay. Yeah. One other thing about, something about fact that's interesting is it can be measured or verified, which is a fancy word for being true, right? Verified means true. So it can be measured. The important thing that we learned last time is they're the same no matter who measures them, okay? Uh, and one of the examples we used was uh, the Empire State Building. Everybody knows what the Empire State Building is, a really tall building in New York City. So the Empire State Building is taller than Fairbanks Road Elementary School. In fact, if you put them side by side, well, Fairbanks Road Elementary School look a tiny thing compared to the great big Empire State Building. So no matter who measured those differences, the Empire State Building would be bigger, right? All right. So those are some things that are facts. All right. I think you guys got a good handle on that. What's an opinion? Um, what you think? Yeah, exactly. Very good. Anybody else want to add to that? That's pretty good. That's excellent. Okay. Yeah, it's what you think or how you feel about something, right? It's your kind of it's your opinion. It cannot be. Or is it necessarily verified? Does it mean it means not objectively true to use a fancy word? And here's an example we used. Who thinks vanilla ice cream is better than chocolate ice cream? Who thinks chocolate's better than vanilla? Okay, some people think some way, some think the other. It's an opinion, right? Okay, so that's what we learned about last time. So this time we're going to talk about evidence, and I'm going to let Shannon, take over and take it from here. Go. All right, thank you. Okay, so today we're going to talk about evidence. Um, so, what do you guys think is or could be evidence? Like a clue that you find somewhere and use it to find out a secret. Right, right. Anybody else have an idea? Please? Okay, find out, like, maybe a solution. Right, yeah, or a conclusion, something like that. Very good, yeah, you guys are absolutely right. So the definition is signs or clues that support an idea or a collection of facts. Get all your facts together, it's evidence, right? Okay, so evidence can be in two different categories. It can either be direct or indirect. <coughs> Fancy <laughs> so direct evidence um, is something that you can 
figure out with your five senses or you can experience with your five senses. Does anybody know what your five senses are? Let's go with someone else this time. Gab? Mm -hmm. Might I call you Gab? Gavin? Okay. <laughs> Gavin? Eyes. All right. Who else? Um, yes. Yep, so you're hearing. What about this one? A big sniffer? I don't see it. It's a dog's nose. So sense of smell, maybe, right? Okay. You already named that one. What about that? Yep, your sense of taste. It's one of my favorites. And your sense of touch. So pretty much anything you can, you can experience with your five senses. Um, it may require tools to expand your senses, so maybe you need to see something really far away. You could use a telescope, right? Or maybe you need to see something really small and you would use a microscope. Um, it also can include personal experiences. So something you see or hear of or sense with yourself that you tell somebody else, it's your personal experience of that. Uh, it also could include an investigation to gather information or clues, something like tests. So you could take a test and that would be evidence that you've learned something. So indirect evidence is kind of the opposite. It includes somebody else's five senses. You personally did not experience it. So let's say Brett and Evelyn went to Disneyland and they rode on a roller coaster. And they came back and they were like, Shannon, we rode on this roller coaster. It was amazing. We threw our hands in the air and it was made my belly turn over and it was crazy and I saw all these lights flashing. That was their personal experience that they're telling me about. Right? I didn't see it, I didn't experience it. So it's someone else's five senses of evidence. Another thing you might have to do with indirect evidence is ask an expert to help gather clues or facts. Like somebody super smart, like Albert Einstein. You guys know who Albert Einstein is? Yeah, he's what? He's a scientist, right? Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> so he's really old, he's a scientist, and he's also really smart, right? So you could have asked Albert Einstein something about physics to gather or support your evidence and clues. So another thing is that it could also be a story, a video, or a recording. Say you watch a YouTube video of something. That's indirect evidence that something is going on or that you did not experience yourself. Another reason to have indirect evidence. So what do you think is stronger or more supportive evidence? You want to say it out loud? Direct evidence. Yeah, very good. Why do you think? Because Very good. Absolutely right. So, see, so you're right. The arrow's pointing to direct. I checked it. So, who do you think might use evidence? <laughs> who are these people? What are their jobs? Who are those people? <clears throat> right? So they might use evidence, right? To what? Go ahead. You can just talk out loud. Right. Right, exactly. Maybe put bad guys in jail, right? Right? <laughs> it's one way they use evidence. What about those people? Who are they? Right? Doctors and surgeons. Right. Doctors, surgeons, maybe the lady in the middle is a nurse. They might use evidence, right? They might see that you're sick, evidence that something's wrong in your body. She could be a doctor. She could be. Just I was saying. just guessing. Just saying. Maybe she's an intern. Right. <laughs> what about that crazy guy down there? What do you think he does? Yeah. So scientists might use evidence, right? Good. Who's that guy? Yeah. You guys know what movie that's from? Liar, liar. Very good. And he was a what in that? Yeah, very good. So he was a lawyer. So lawyers use evidence, right, when they're in court? Oh, he is a lawyer, but his son says he's a lawyer. Right, okay. He's a lawyer. It was the best ex example I could come up with for a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy in the middle here, he's a, right. So he might use evidence, too, to see if his plants are growing, right? What about that one? <laughs> yeah. They might use evidence, right? <laughs> Who's that guy? Um, a, <laughs> a judge, right? Yeah. 
news might use evidence for stories. Who's that? You're absolutely right. Who's the, who saw the Hunger Games? Did you see all of them? You did? All of them? Mm -hmm. Did you guys read the books? No? Not yet? I read some of them. You did? That's good. So did you see the movies? No, not yet. They're really good. You should see them. But Katniss Everdeen is a hunter, right? She goes out into the woods. She finds things to hunt. So she will use evidence too. So let's play a little matching game. This stethoscope here, right? That will be a tool to expand somebody's senses, right? Who might use that to help expand their senses? Right. Very good. There it goes. All right. What about this man sneezing? Is that evidence that something's going wrong? Right? Okay. He's going to go to the doctors. These beakers here. Yep. Someone's going to use that to measure things, right? To collect data, collect evidence, right? To do a test. What about the microscope? To see something, you see you see what with microscopes? You see what? Minerals? Yeah, you can. Really, really powerful one. Germs, bacteria, right? Viruses. What about fingerprint? Who uses fingerprints? Which one of those? Well, you could just say it out loud. Oh, the police. Yeah. It helps identify people, right? It's evidence that you were somewhere with your fingerprints on stuff. They also perform tests to see if people are driving correctly or not under the influence. What about this kid with a thermometer? Now, the thermometer measures what? What? Yeah, the doctors are going to use it, right? Thermometer measures what? Go ahead. Right, perfect. So that's also another way to expand their senses to see that something's wrong inside. You have an infection, causes a fever, right? They need a thermometer to see if there's a fever. X-rays, it's a good way to see if bones are broken, right? Evidence that something's wrong. What about this last one here? Question marks? Who uses questions to gather evidence? Who uses questions? Go ahead. The police do? Evie, what do you think? Everyone. Everyone? Brett? Everyone. Everyone? Lena? Everyone. Everyone. You're right. Everybody uses questions to gather evidence. All right. What about what about these broken branches down here? Who's gonna use those? Maybe an animal went by? Maybe a big scary bear? Who's gonna use that? Say it out loud, ready? One, two, three. Yeah, the hunter. Yeah. So it's evidence that something was there, right? What about a report card? Who's gonna use a report card to see that you learned material that they taught? Mm -hmm. Who? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what about somebody on scene talking to people, collecting a story, indirect evidence from other people? Who's gonna use that, Brett? The judge. The judge? Yeah, they could. Who else? Yeah. Yep. What about tests? Specific tests? Maybe you take a social studies test or a English test. Teachers, yeah. That's evidence that you learned English, right? Or their lesson that they taught. What about the nosy neighbor? The nosy neighbor who saw somebody break in next door. Indirect evidence? Yeah. Maybe she goes into court and says, hey, I saw that man go next door. That's her story, right? Or that woman go next door and break in. What about this one? What about a really upset kid? Do your teachers know when you're upset? Could that be evidence that something's wrong? Mm -hmm. If you're crying or if you're mad or, you know, something like that, that's evidence that you're not doing so well today. <laughs> what about the last one? What are those? Yeah, who's going to use tracks, animal tracks, to see evidence that animals were there? Ooh. 
Okay. Yeah. Very good. So you guys got it, right? It's pretty easy. Who wants a snack? We do. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna take a little bit of a, of a break and. My name is Mark. You can certainly call me Mark or Dan, right? <laughs> so, what do you guys think police officers do? Let's start off with that question. Not you. <laughs> What do you think police officers do? They must be trying, very good. Great. That's excellent. Delaney, what do you think police officers do? Arrest. We arrest criminals, yep. That's part of our job also. Logan, what do you think police officers do? <laughs> Any ideas? No? We do all kinds of cool things, all right? We help people, um, we arrest bad people, or people have committed crimes, not necessarily when they're bad. Um, investigate crimes. So, what would you guys like to know about as far as what kind of crimes or what a police officer does? Do you guys have any questions as far as like how we use evidence? No? All right. Well, let's start out with investigating crimes and getting, getting evidence, all right? Um, Gavin, you said we investigate crimes, right? So, I'm what's called a crime scene investigator. Or a crime scene technician. I do that at work. Okay, so I have to go around and collect evidence. All right. So there's a bunch of different ways we can collect evidence. We can ask neighbors, go around, knock on doors. Hey, did you guys see anything happen? Yeah, we saw stuff happen. We saw so and so walking down the street. That's one way. Very good. It's indirect. That's what I was going to ask. What do you think that is? Indirect. All right. Another thing we can do is we can dust for fingerprints. So we get a little tiny. It's like a little brush with feathers. I dip it in like a charcoal and just dust it around. That would be a what? What kind of evidence would that be? Direct. It would be direct, right? Because everybody has their own what? Fingerprints. We also look for other things. Something that I'm missing, but you guys have a lot of. Hair. Very good. Hair. So that's a, <laughs> that's a direct evidence, right? So we look for all kinds of different kinds of evidence. Um, writing people tickets, police officers write tickets, right? Mm -hmm. I personally hate writing tickets, I don't like writing tickets. However, yes. what kind of evidence do you think I look for if I have to pull somebody over? I want to hear from you guys, because you guys are quiet. <laughs> Delaney, what do you think I do? Um, Looking for stolen money? Mm -hmm. There's so money flying out of the window, I'm probably going to pull someone over, yep. <laughs> Logan, how about you? You're doing a great job organizing those M&Ms. What do you think I do when I pull someone over? What am I looking for? If they are fast. If they're driving fast, yes. If they're speeding, very good. So that's perfect. So if they're driving fast, what kind of evidence am I looking for? I'm going to say, wow, they're zooming down there really fast. Okay? So what can I use? What kind of a tool might I be able to use to tell if somebody's driving too fast. You got What? Um, I'm like SpongeBob, one of those things where like they hold up to the road and it detects how fast the car Yes, it's called a radar gun. A radar gun. It actually bounces radar waves off the car and then bounces back and tells me how fast the car is going. That's how I can verify, that's how I can have my evidence that somebody's going too quick. So then I can pull them over and say, hey, Slow it down. What's going on? Are you, going, are you in an emergency? Do you have to get somewhere quick? What's going on today? All right, so it's very good. You guys are all right on track here with some of the things we do. Um, what other types of things do you think I can do? Delaney, you got some. What do you got going in there? What other kind of evidence do you think I can gather? How about just looking like them? Don't you don't know any? All right. Right, you got your hand up what? Blood. Blood, that's a great evidence, yes. Yep. I can collect blood and it's called a DNA swab. So I'll take a cotton tip and I'll swab the blood and I'll seal it and send it off to the crime lab and they can check against DNA. Everybody has their own DNA. It's like their own fingerprint for their body. So. You get DNA from blood. You can also get it from hair, skin. So we got a couple different things we can do here. Yep, saliva. 
What's that? You said that Yep, I have some packages I'll send home to you guys too. <coughs> so, um, let's see, what other kind of stuff do you think do? What other kind of evidence do you think I can gather? <laughs> Anybody? That one? Footprints. Footprints, yep. Those are good ones. So we got a lot of different things on what we can do and find evidence and clues. That's the biggest thing, all right? Evidence are nothing but clues. Put a bunch of clues together to figure out the problem. It's like a puzzle, right? A bunch of little puzzle pieces. Stick them all together, got a nice big picture at the end so I can solve the crime, right? Do you guys have any questions? What do you guys got bounced around your heads? They're all sitting in the trance. It's true. How about you three? Do you have any questions whatsoever? No, no nothing at all? <laughs> no? All right, I think we have a game we're gonna play. Yeah, we right. do. All right, thanks, Officer Backpack. Hey, no problem. So, now we're going to play a game, okay? So just like Officer Backpack said, gathering clues and evidence Right is a collection of facts, so that's what we're gonna do, and it puts together a big picture, perhaps solve a crime, right? So in this room, right now, we have puzzle pieces. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, when we're gonna let you loose here, we're gonna have you look around the room for puzzle pieces, okay? And it's all gonna come together in a big picture. And you have to try to figure out from your piece of the puzzle what the picture could be. So when you find one, come to one of the volunteers and say, I think it might be blah, or I think it might be this or that. Like, I have no idea what this could be. You see a little a little guy. Polar bear. Sure, polar bear. Thanks, chocolate chip ice cream. Someone's feet are in water. <laughs> see, feet in water, so maybe it is a polar bear, right? Start with, uh, let them get one piece each, and they can tell us what they... Yeah, so go ahead and find a puzzle piece and we'll regroup. And we'll see if we can't make a conclusion. But that's not easy. A lot of people don't know. All right, so I have this one here. So what is this? Panda bears? Penguin and a seal. That's a seal? How do you know though? Because it looks like one. Or sea lion. Wait, hold on. This might go with this because this one has freckles. <gasps> Look! Look at that. So now we know what this is, right? What do you see in this piece? I found an elephant. It is? I got an elephant. Yeah. I got like an elephant piece. I got an elephant again. I got a penguin. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Way, way. I found a piece. Good. Oh, good. I know, I just focused on You guys are doing great. Okay. The elephant, I think, is right. It is. It's right there. What is it? We don't need you two. I just wonder if anybody can tell a story from what they've gathered so Yeah. Bunch of animals. So you guys... Yeah, that goes there. So based on this that you have so far, what do you think? Can we draw any conclusions? Bunch of animals hanging out. All right. <laughs> Chill. Animals chilling. Animals chilling. Literally. Literally. In the water. Literally. Any other stories you want to? I can make an inference. Because these are all. Inference. Because these are all like Arctic animals. These animals may be in the Arctic and you these Arctic. are all like Arctic animals. Like Animals that could jump off the So is it like animals around the world? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. What about you, Delaney? You like that? Do you like that story? Animals around the world. Who votes yes? All right. Okay. Let's go find another piece. Yeah. Okay. Wait, this must go here because like, that's a peacock. That's a peacock? How can you tell that that's been a peacock? Because it looks like How do you know? Because I've seen a peacock. Where? 
Oh, okay. So you had a personal experience with peacocks? Yep. All right, so now you know what they look like? Awesome. What do you got there? A person. A person. All right. There's someone else. Yeah, that looks like that fits there. It's a big puzzle. All right. So, okay. Let's take a look at what we have now. Now, what do you think? This goes here. This goes here. So that can. Hey, look at that. This is another person. Wow. Person. There's another person. Okay. Now, what do you think? Does our story change? Yeah. It does. What do you think now? Logan, what's our story? I don't know. No? It's like animals zoo. around the world still? Zoo? 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 Yeah. Is it zoo zoo? I can see. Zoo yeah. And uh, maybe a beach because I think this is sand right here. All right. So a zoo at the beach? Well, there's ice right up here. Or a beach in the zoo? <laughs> a beach in the zoo with ice. Well, there's with with elephants swimming? Well, we have a few more pieces. Let's see if we can't find them. You're a really good finder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eve, you got one too? Yeah. Awesome. One, two, three, four pieces left. You got one too? Together nicely. Ah, got a stump. We got a couple that are hidden really well. <laughs> Logan, you got one? There's one more. Yeah, good job, buddy. One more? Oh, man. One more. You always get one that's lost, right? That one piece you can never find. I <laughs> What's our conclusion? A zoo. A beach. A, a beach. No, wait. A zoo. A zoo. 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 Whatever the happy is, people are coming. What? And this is the people guys. are enjoying it? People are okay. enjoying it. So you have penguins, right? Zoo. That's exactly. Polar bears. Good. Evie, you said this was a? a sea lion. Yeah. All right. Polar bears. Polar bears. Who's, what's that guy? The polar, polar bear. bear. All right. He's just got a hat on. All right. A lady taking pictures of the what? Peacock. Okay. We have an elephant hanging out at the beach with, with um, a cheetah. Leopard. 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 Jumping mud. Leopard. It's Timon. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> Ostrich. Ostrich. Toucan. Toucan. A bird. Fire. <laughs> we have some, uh, we have monkeys. We have a koala bear. Panda. Panda bear. So, people taking pictures? People taking pictures of animals. Where does that happen? I think you're right. Where's our, where's our box? Yeah. box. Oh, that was it. I knew it. Good, you guys did an awesome job. He's a really good finder. Especially this one over here. She's I like super was, sneaky, right? I thought it was neat that when you first started getting pieces, you had just a little bit of evidence, and you couldn't really tell what it was I'll all take about. Okay. <laughs> so I'll take the distraction away. <laughs> right. But when you had just like one piece of the puzzle, you could see maybe there were animals, but the more evidence you got, the more pieces came together, the more you could see what it was. 
And that's, uh, Officer Mark does the same thing when he investigates. The more evidence that he gets, the more complete the picture that he can create. He can understand what the whole story is if he has enough evidence. If he has just a little bit of evidence, just a few clues, then it's hard to understand everything that's going on. So that's why evidence is so important. The more evidence you have and the better the evidence is, the more complete the picture can be. Right? Absolutely. I don't want to arrest, arrest anybody that's wrong, right? What? I wouldn't want to arrest anybody that's not guilty, correct? Mm -hmm. so what if I said, you know what? Yeah. What if I just yeah. walked down the street and someone said, Fred just stole $100? Would it be fair for me to just go arrest them? No. He's for what? Uh-huh, and collect everything. Right. Now if I find a $100 bill in Brett's pocket, then what? What's that called? What kind of evidence is that? Very good, it's direct evidence. All right. So did you guys have fun today? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, we learned a little something. We had an awesome snack, right? Yeah. What was better, the snack or the puzzle game? Snack. <laughs> <laughs> or the snack plus the puzzle game? Both. Both? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, Mark has some stuff to hand out to you guys if you like it. As some stuff you guys take home. It's kind of like your own little evidence kit, right? So you can be a little crime scene investigator if you want. So you guys can check this out, okay? So here's one for you, Logan. You, one for you. It's right in you. All right, I'll open one up. I'll show you guys what it is. All right. Okay. I'm mean, keep it. No problem. My pleasure. Keep it in your thing. Keep it in your thing so you don't lose parts. What this is, it's like you know how like sometimes kids get stolen. And the stranger danger. You always hear about stranger danger. All right. These are little packages that your parents can keep with you, so they can keep a picture on you, of you, all your information. And this is really cool. You get to take your own fingerprints. So you can go home with your mom or your dad, and you ain't got this little piece of plastic, follow the directions, and you can take your own fingerprints. And then down here, it says DNA hair sample. Take a piece of your hair, and you stick it on here, okay? That way your mom or your dad or someone important can hold on to this, and if someone ever steals you, there's some evidence there, okay? So you can be little crime scene investigators and find your own stuff, all right? And I also have little plastic badges, if you guys want one of these. Hold on. You're welcome. We have stickers too. Please and stickers. My pleasure. There you go. You guys have fun today? Yeah. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. How about we clap for Officer?